Freddie Clocker, congratulations on your innings today. 129 not out. Fantastic innings. How do you feel about it? Well, you know, you never get tired of runs. Uh, the body's feeling okay, even though we played a long week of uh, cricket. Starting to feel it a little bit in my legs. But, you know, after half decent innings, you know, the body feels great. I mean, there's a lot of runs in that innings. Uh, but were there any particular highlights? Well, in the last over, I hit a lovely shot over cover, really. Uh, I just went inside out and I absolutely nailed it. Uh, I played a cut shot as well. Uh, the bloke at backward point tried to get a hand on it, but it was right out of the screws. And the cut is one of my favourite shots, so I was very pleased about that one. Throughout the tournament, you have been building momentum. Your score has been consistent, not just you personally, but the whole team. And it's really been a good, strong team performance. Yeah, well, you know, we got a lot of batters in the side this year, uh, where we improved a little bit from two years ago. So we feel we can put a bit more pressure on the opening bowlers and put some runs on the board or go hard at it the first six overs. Uh, we've been going at, I think, eight, nine and over throughout the whole tournament and that just shows the strength and today it just came off and I was just lucky to uh, to be the main man today. I mean, batting partner Aftab did exceptionally well as well, getting a 50 but completely overshadowed by your own performance. But how important is it to have that support around you? Oh, massive. You know, just knowing that you've got guys who can hit it and hit it big, uh, as he showed today, hit some really big sixes, you know. It just lets me or puts no pressure on me whatsoever and I can just play play the tempo I want. Uh, so it's, you know, it's awesome to have a guy like him coming in at three. Watching today's match when you're in your innings, what struck me was that second over that Matthew Stokes ball, the third over of the match, in which he had a lovely drive back over his head. And I thought at that point, oh, I think it's now time to bring Matthew Stokes off. And they kept him on for that third over, which went for over 20 runs, which was like one over too many. Did you get a sense then that the momentum had changed? Yeah, uh, well, you know, 2020 cricket is all about momentum. Uh, as you said, I hit one in the over before and it got me going quite well, you know, got me relaxing a little bit. And then I hit a six over long off, it came out absolutely out of the screws and I hit him again. Uh, and then... He was under a bit of pressure, I thought, and he didn't really know how to bowl it. And then, he, you know, I was lucky to get a couple of fours away. Uh, so that was about that. One of the things, having watched the Italy uh, match earlier, uh, was the fact it was quite a low-scoring match. Do you think there was a sort of f false expectation going into that from sides as to what, this, what was a par score on here? Well, a little bit. You know, I think it's an absolute belter of a wicket. Yeah. So I think, you know, it was maybe it just came down to nerves, nerves I think. Uh, I think the Italians uh, throughout the tournament haven't really been putting on the short scores they could be. Uh, we've obviously looked at video at them and stuff like that, uh, but I think they underperformed uh, in that first game because normally they're a much better side than that and we're not going to take anything for granted in, that, uh, in the final later on. Thanks very much and well done again. Thank you. My pleasure.